The governorship candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, NMPP, in a boy state, Prophet Chris Adolawim, has denied being suspended by suspected aggrieved ward executives in the Echiaba ward, a boy state. The leadership of the NMPP in a boy Lake government area, led by the secretary of the ward, Ani Okuchuku, allegedly suspended the governorship candidate over alleged anti party activities. But Adolawam, who spoke through the Director of Media and Publicity for the NMPP campaign organization, Victor Rako in Abakeliki, blamed the former chairman of the party, Solomon Chuku, who was earlier suspended for embezzling over 78 million naira meant for the party of masterminding the rumor of the suspension. The All Progressive Congress, APC, in River State has reacted to a media chat by the state governor, ESM Wike. Spokesperson of the APC in the state, Daliti Wauju Wawla, addressing newsman in Port Hackett, the River State capital, said that Governor Wike admitted to conniving with operators of the Nigerian police to steal their documents. He also added that Wiki admitted that he and INAC and the police arrested three lawyers of the party to obtain the party's evidence of the electoral hest that took place in the state. By this very public confession of Governor Wiki, it is very clear that the laptops and other uh, evidence is critical to the APC litigation and elections petitions tribunal we are hacked into in order to steal information. This, to our mind, should be of very serious concern to Nigerians, especially to the body of benchers. And the law profession in Nigeria Darlington for the Express that the media chat has also confirmed the affairs of River State uh, people that Governor Wiki positioned some loyalists of the PDP at INEC office to attack the APC governorship candidates when he called. Darlington called on the federal government, uh, relevant stakeholders and security agencies to probe into political situations in River State. We are fully aware that the so-called protesters stationed at the INEC Portacot office are not there to prevent the smuggling in of results that were written anywhere, as the governor claimed in his media chat. We are rather aware that the protesters are there to give shield to the INEC officials who are still busy writing results to match the figures that were written closely announced on the 18th of March, 2023, in favor of the PDP. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.